Hey folks, welcome back to Ostriff. Am I recording? I'm recording. Cool. So, we finished last time thinking about a forestry over in here. And we're building it at the moment. Use them to take down trees for the new fields, for the new farm, as well as carving a pathway through the wilderness. Hopefully. I don't know. Some of the rules this game follows about who does what trees sometimes... Uh, yeah, it eludes me to understand. <laughs> These guys seem to be getting a wooden log. Why are we down to five? I thought I was at... Or down to four. I thought I was at five on this one. Now we are now. Anyway, you. Waiting for a partner. Waiting for a partner and chopping a tree. Chopping a tree, but you're here. No, you're on your way out. So they are definitely going across the way and working on these job sites now instead of these guys who are now just visiting a chapel taking a rest going to work going to work and taking a rest so none of them are going to let me know but i'm pretty sure they just go to to work now and sit there and stare at themselves so oh, i may have to mothball this one for a while while this one takes the uh, takes the lead i don't know i don't want to have four workers just sitting here not doing anything other than taking a rest yeah, they can only chop so much firewood over here because we don't really need it. Well, I guess push that up to 5,000. We are collecting... Oh, that's bark. Oh, firewood's over here at 10,000. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Bark's at 3,000 and yeah, actually 4,000 in storage. Hmm. Anyway, so this winter we're going to get the forestry going. We're going to get the, the farm going. And I set one field near the farm just to give the forester is something to be chopping down while the farm is building and then I'll figure out where maybe a second field goes and maybe a third field over here that doesn't require any uh, any chopping at all and maybe we'll have at least two of them up and running by this uh, this next season we'll see by by March so we've got three months to three and a half months to figure that all out otherwise in between episodes I set up the store all the meats and meat products over here, all of the staples, we'll call it over here, that we make ourselves, clothes, that sort of thing, and then all of the fresh fruits and vegetables that we can fit. So if we have one more building with a store, we can catch all the rest of the fruits and vegetables that aren't as common, but these are the most common ones. So I think that's a good setup there. We got our barber surgery over here, who made $10 last month. Yeah, he just doesn't have the uh, the the residence base to work did we ever get a priest there we are no we didn't so that's just a matter of folks moving in and or waiting till 300 i'm not sure which but uh well it'll happen when it happens completed the forestry so let's get to work over here um let's set up a full-blown schedule in fact let's just take i guess this one you guys are down to three on off months. This is the schedule we're kind of using. Let's take this and apply to all. And this one doesn't have anything. It's just our storage. We'll apply it to all. And let's just see if these guys take over. The, uh, uh, the, the clearing of building sites. If they do, then we'll transition these guys back to just firewood choppers. If this is the one that we've got all of the red X's marked, and I even marked some more through town in between episodes, expecting that they were going to be doing the work, and then they all went to work doing what they should have been doing all along. So, all right, so you two are on your way. When you get there, we'll see what it is you're working on. Maybe you'll grab the next building site, which would be the farm. Well, or these guys already are. Okay, well, not necessarily. These are planks. They're not logs. You have two trees left, and I think that's what there was, was two trees left. Uh, I know there's one tree on here. No, wait, who are you? Nope, you're not. You guys are bringing materials over to start filling this one up. Anyway, so we'll wait and see what goes on over there. You are just have just been rehired, but there's no tallow, so there's really kind of... Well, I, I say that. There's no tallow over there. There's no tallow here. There's no tallow here. This is where we should be storing tallow, huh? Right in there. So let's just do that. So tallow... I have to... Hello. 
Let's try that again. You, there, there. Let's put tallow over here. And we'll say 2,000 like the rest, even though it'll never, it'll never happen. And that will send her off to go get some. Otherwise, over here, and she does have help. She does. No, no, wrong one. You, uh, laborer by cart, worker by cart, and carter. Okay, so others could come over here and grab tallow out of here. Though there's no slaughtering going on right now, so there's no tallow going on right now. I can pull tallow out of this one. We still need bark, lime, and salt for this one, and salt for this one. So that's good storage over here. Quantities-wise, we've got... Let's make that 2,000 salt over here. And lime, 4,000. Bark, 4,000. Sure, that works. Okay, so that... You guys are supplied over there. How are we doing, by the way? We can hold up to 500. We have 200 shoes. We can hold up to 10, and we have 10. So... Too bad that's such a small number. Let's go ahead and shut you down for a while. We don't truly need it. It was just to see the building work. We've never actually used the the uh, horse tack. You guys over here, uh, clothing of 40 and warm clothes of 10. So we're nowhere near our, our minimum or maximums there. 2,000 each of the supplies, and we've got 460 textile. It'd be nice to get that textile moved over, huh? There already is a thousand of it here. Ah, so you could then be storing textile just to... In fact, we've had a hired worker over here with nothing going on. I didn't even realize that. Textile, let's get you moved over to here so that we can continue producing. Let's do 2,000 over here. Um... I guess we could bring hemp over here and flax over here just to uh, get it into the area. We must not have any hemp right there. Yeah, we could. If she can go pick it up to justify her wages, then these folks can just walk over and get it. I like that. Um, in that case, we could also do sheepskin. Should we ever get to a point where there's more than a thousand here? So, I had done this a long time ago, then then cancel it all when we just didn't have enough people to do anything so now let's keep her employed and let her do things and we'll just make that work the other thing is broadcloth so you can also go and get a load of broadcloth and make sure it's over in this area so broadcloth and 2000 all right so you now have a reason to be you guys we've got a thousand sunflower oil and need it out of here. We are set to... Wow, labor by cart is not checked here. That's probably a big part of it. Um, I'll leave by hand for the worker, just in case they just need to go and... No, that doesn't make sense. Because the only thing they would do is go to get the sunflower. So that would be by cart. Okay. Let's get a cartload moved out of here. All of you move to this guy and that reminds me I accidentally in between episodes a couple episodes back clicked this guy when I went to do that are they still sitting here they are okay let's move the thousand sunflower oil by Carter to this one too this one is set up for 2500 sunflower oil let's make you 5000 that's gonna come and go and, and be, you know be sent right out through the trader so it's not something that's going to happen often. Delivery orders. We've got our our uh, marching order sitting up here. It's good to see. And then in between episodes, I we got these built and didn't really stop to take a look at them, but there's the fourth uh, warehouse and the second ashery, which we're not going to use yet until we really have a use for it. This one, we're five, four employees. There's, you know, plenty for them to be doing not enough water to start life so someone's going to get water or will be soon you guys probably aren't working yeah taking a rest and going to work and buying foods okay so i turn on potash and then set over here to start storing it give these guys something to do when we already have too much lye because we don't have any tallow and we're starting to store lye as well so let's give them a second task of making ash which i'm also storing over here and then making potash 
that doesn't seem to exist yet. Okay. Uh, didn't set it for a large amount. I could. Just stockpile it for a while. I suppose so. They can't make any of these two unless there's ash anyway. How do you make that? That is... Uh, liquid lye. Okay. Oh, lye is a liquid. It's in a bucket. That's right. I wondered about that symbol. So, uh, liquid lye can then be used to reduce potash by boiling it using firewood. Okay, then they use the bark to make the ash. Ash by burning tree bark. And, and the, I suppose the... No? So the firewood is for the potash. And the ash can then be soaked in water to produce lye. Yeah, quite a process. We've got some firewood here. What are we allowed? We have a lot of extra storage. Firewood of 500, bark of 2,000, water of, I will say 1,000, and ash of 1,000, if I can. Though we can only produce 500, so maybe that doesn't make sense. But they'll hang on to it rather than move it off into here. Perhaps. Yeah, because we're now going to go... Either we're making it or we're going to go get it. No, nope, we're making it. Okay. So anyway, got these guys doing a lot more for their wages. And that's always good. Uh, moved the... Ah, uh, no. 8,000 lime into this one. And... I could just wait and let them do it. Or we can get this moved this episode. Let's do that. Let's move... I'm available 400. Have I got the right one clicked? I don't. Okay. That didn't make sense. Let's move 6,000 of it by cart. And just get that part done. That's going into there. Bricks are still over here. Got 10,000 in there. So we're, we're well ahead on bricks now as far as getting more row houses done. But get this emptied, moved out, put another cart parking out over here somewhere. And I think that will either here or off a straight line. Eh, I kind of like the idea of a road here. Maybe we'll put it right in here aiming this way. And just leave a nice straight road through here. Could. And I did this to remind myself. So this isn't permanent, but we need to think about how to make this work. I'd like for the traffic to come along front of the buildings and then move over to the main road. And then I need to manipulate this so that, well, we can't see it in the snow, but the main road is actually centered through here so a fence that somehow stops traffic from going through here anymore and kicks it over and then keeps it over there with a row a fence of some kind that comes through here until we hit a building and maybe shy of a building so a pathway can come through here and let's see this one right here is probably going to be a main road yeah I can see that happening okay so I want to reroute traffic here somewhere and I don't know exactly how don't know if I like that or this hits and then another one in front of here with an opening here or there and trees around it and just kind of make them a little more exclusive neighborhood in here by the time this is all built and all these buildings built and I don't know what happens here I'm not sure I wish we had more decorative buildings I might put Oh, I guess I can put market stalls out just as a little bit of a bazaar, even if we're not using them, with benches and trees and bushes and make it look like a little festive area or something. Not sure. You guys need some logs. What you doing? Chopping a tree. So you're just leaving. Waiting for a partner. And you're chopping a tree where? Ah, look at that. They're back to running their red X's. So you guys have taken over, haven't you? You guys are off to do what speed yep and taking out a tree in this field okay so these trees are done and before we go any further i need to get more fields figured out so that they don't or do they they move on to the next one what is it it is a well a well oh i went did some more work over here too between episodes we set these and I stretched them out a little further and made a little more of an arc over here, gave them a little more space, and changed the way that this one works so that the pathway comes right down in here. We're going to tear down this old well. I'm going to build a new one right over here that is in that, that little, that strange little nook that was left over. 
so that just fit a well really well and we'll get rid of this one the next property line can go right up to there just leave a road right on through this and down into here and then down this way so when i watched when i edited the episode and watched it i had a little more time to sit there and think and say, nah, I don't think that was the best plan. Let's let's do something different. So I will do that in between episodes when I've got time to not talk, not narrate. Um, anything else we need to see over here while I have my well? So that is the shape of the first field right out the door of the farm. Not a gigantic one, and maybe they don't need to be gigantic. Maybe we'll have more fields over here that are smaller. So we get more variety and more opportunities for fallow fields for the cows and what have you. But but something that they can go through and just be done with it and move on to the next one and be done with it and move on to the next one. So where does it go? Over here it's free. But I see I'm off a little bit there. We could force them to do a bunch of cutting and that will bring a bunch of logs in there get a field in like so and then a field like so try I think I'll leave a pathway here come out of the farm and walk across then maybe they come down this side and catch a bigger field that has no trees in it just to make sure we have at least one field or two fields for the uh, for this year okay I can kind of see that and I used to go over to the farm and say at a field I have learned that you just grab this wonderful little copy tool and click and you're adding a field okay but I don't know where to add it let's see here there's the corner so if you were probably there let's go a little further which way was that crooked that was crooked into there okay I'm gonna fix that one later um, I'm afraid to do it now actually I could probably do it just before the uh, we start to plant but you're about there then. I want to bring that corner in just a little bit. So I'll make this one as straight as the other one should have been. And smaller. So that's 50. So 40 is about there. That's 50. That makes that about 60. So let's go 30 and put two 30s in here. Um, and straight would have been more like that. So that puts you right there. And a little bit further, we'll do a 30. By what? And this is this one's going to have a lot of trees in it. So it's going to give them something to uh, to do for a while. In fact, both of these will. 30 by. Hmm. Let's do a 30 by 35. These will be intentionally smaller. 30, 35, 30, 35 is right there. And an opening on that side. Everything's good there? I think it is. Now if I hold shift... Nope, doesn't work on a field. Okay. So grab you again. And... Where did that end? It is you, right? Yeah. Okay. So zoom out a little bit and straighten. So if you go another 30, it should put us real close to the shoreline. And straight can't really tell with all those trees you're there let's do this again let's go back to I already am showing all okay it doesn't stay lit you you oh I never had to let go of it okay so you you're gonna go down here and I think we want to be a little bit wider toward this bottom okay that that was closer to straight there's 29, there's 30, and a touch wider is right there. Okay, so over here by 30, here's the hard part. Actually, it is. Let's pull out of that one and go to here. So you're going to be there at 35, and then over here we go down to 30 and we rotate. There we go. So 27, 30 is there. We'll try that, see if that works. So you're going to be a little bit wide. Where's my... Which one's moving? There you are. So 35 and 30. And then rotate around there. That's good. Alright, there's three fields. 
two of them need their trees done and that's the whole point of this you're going to be there you're going to be there and it gives these loggers something to do you can be building right now that's the well you are three houses you are a well uh, we still need to take trees down in these three houses so move that well over there and then the next is a row house and small granary so we're kind of running out of projects to build right now so you're there and then we get a little closer to ready to plant I'll just plop something in here temporarily which will be the only two fields will actually be growing this year while all these trees come down so I assume maybe these guys will blow my mind and get really really efficient we'll see give these folks over here at least the guys a real job for a while instead of running uh, temporary work all the time okay so is there anything else to catch up on now that I'm what am I 21 minutes in there's your your, your introduction to, to uh, before we start working on that church area again I did go back over to the school over here in between and kind of ran some fences around and and though i think this is probably a little bit wide yeah i may narrow that up a bit but mark trees to take out put some benches in and and set a fence around it to kind of uh outline the the roadway here i gotta look pretty good still no kids this one up here has been doing really good uh you yeah we're almost maxed out again so I don't know what the perimeter is. I don't know what the working area is for something like a school. It would be nice if there was a circle around it while it's being placed. And maybe as the game approaches its final state, that will be added. It's probably just not considered as important right now as, you know, creating buildings and getting the mechanics of the game working. So it's understandable why it's not not in there yet, but I do hope it is a feature long term. Um, so worked on that. Um, I think that kind of sums it all up. Anything else now? So tanneries we've looked at. We are running this guy. We've got another batch of of 100 sitting here waiting. Okay. So how are we over here? We've got nothing waiting. So we had the right number to complete a batch last time. You are up to 25, so there won't be any of them slaughtered for a while, which is good. We'll let these guys grow up a little bit. We've got a lot of sheep now, though we still have a lot of rams in there. We really do. Most, of, well, Almost half of them are still rams. How are we over here, just out of curiosity? You are 20 of 20. And a couple of bowls. I got to looking in between episodes, just kind of walking around or wandering around, clicking on things. These guys are getting old. 14, 14, 15, 15. We're going to be replacing them soon. I've never, I don't remember from my Alpha 1 series how that worked and what happened. Hello. Do I click you? To, yeah, I guess I click the plow. 11, 11, and 13, and 11. Okay, so these are going to go first. We've already replaced these guys. So, 8 and 8. And I'm hesitant to do anything more with them until I know we have enough to replace all these guys. Okay. Um, otherwise, we... I've got three bowls that I, I guess I should mark protect just to make sure that happens. And protect you two as well. You're, you're my two uh, replacement teams for Farm 1. Otherwise, we're going to start slaughtering cows. They're only three years old. Yeah. Um, this one, I will wait for probably next year's season to get working on it. Uh, though I do see, without this last summer, without telling them to do anything with the, the hay, we managed to bring in 4,600. Well, we still have 4,600 and 6,800. So I did see them moving hay around quite a bit last summer or last uh, year but I was too busy doing other things to really even you know point it out notice it so I think we're gonna be okay we certainly have a lot of uh, too bad I can't double click and get them all um, if I were to just do that and apply to all we have 17 of these around the map now so that's number 18 and there's only five over here 
So there's 13 of them out in this area to support these two. Some of these will eventually leave. This guy is just kind of hovering around here. He doesn't really need to be there and probably take this one out eventually and just leave him out around the backside. Whether this one stays or not, I don't know. It probably was that this would not fit in that space because of that. That's a good guess. Yeah, there's no way to get you in there. Really close, though. Really close. Maybe it would. But there's plenty over here to, to do what we need. This guy will go away. This guy will probably go away. This one will go away. So that leaves ten and five. So five per hay, big hay barrack building. And that whole time, when I, when I have seen people hauling them away, I've never seen a laborer listed here. So I still don't know who and how they empty these guys. I've never seen the hay, dry, the hay barrack employ somebody. At least not so that it shows. So I'm not sure how that works yet. I've not witnessed it work. That last noise was probably the farm? Uh, field. Okay. So we got one field in. Um, so you're still waiting for a while. And that's fine. What was in you? You were building materials and how are we doing? We have two people. And they're not even trying to go get anything or they're not at work. Uh, going to work and buying food. Okay. So you need to find charcoal and get it brought over here, but you're gonna get the firewood over here first, which is good. We need a thousand over here so that you can always grab it. And have, you've got 200 right now, and someone's buying 100. Too bad I can't say how much I want in here. Yeah, I would love to see 500 sitting in this one booth. Anyway, we don't have firewood over here, so they have to go over to there to buy it. Though now they'll be able to go over here to buy it. That'll be good. So you... Firewood, let's make you... Oh, like 6,000. And wood? We'll cut those down a bit. We don't need to make bark over here. And if I put 7,000, they're going to make 12,000 anyway. Okay, you are still gathering the last of the building materials. We need 1,500 thatch yet. Thatch in town is 6,000, so we are fine for building materials. Uh, what's the rest of them look like? Nails, 13, 1,400. Um, wood, 30,000. Whoa. And what else do we usually do? Clay is not something we can measure. That's it. Okay. Uh, bricks. 17,000 bricks in town right now. Uh, lime is 13,000. Glass is 12,000. Sand is unlimited. Yeah, we've, we're doing fine for construction, apparently. I never really, other than the wood, I hadn't really paid much attention to, to uh, building materials. So you guys are doing that, and I assume that you guys are doing it. That we still never really f fully hired interesting I thought they would have grabbed those jobs and and uh, you know refused to give them up so there aren't as many workers at least at this point right now after we go through a layoff in March everybody will reposition and some of these folks here that are working over there may start working over here instead leaving more jobs over there for other people to work over there what is what do we look like right now just out of curiosity um, unemployment, 3% and 2%. Looking for a job, 2 and 2, 2 and 3. Which is fluctuating because a lot of them are doing laborer work. We look from this way, looking for a job, 0. Okay. Because those that are, are really just taking a break or something. I'm guessing. Okay, so I think that is about everything. We are into January. I'll speed it up. No, I won't speed it up. I'm not worried about timing on this one. This is more of a get down to the details. I'm, well, darn it, I'll speed it up. I don't want to do this in the snow. A white fence on a white ground doesn't help much with a white building. When it's not white, this is a very dark building and a very white fence, and I don't really care for it. So what I was thinking about doing was kind of splitting this here. 
at some point, maybe right there, with a nice arch, maybe, maybe, over in here somewhere, let's see, um, R? Yeah. Oh, that, that guy's a little too big, though. He really is. He's, he's a little obnoxious. Then maybe he goes here. Maybe he goes here, and we just put a wall right there. I was wanting to connect them, you know, make them go through the church to get to the cemetery, but maybe that's a mistake. So maybe it's a wooden fence with the wooden arch that goes around here with a brick fence and a brick arch over here. And then this guy goes away. He really isn't necessary anymore. Now, this, because it's on the road, there's no way to see whether they're using it or not, but I'm reasonably certain that they're all defaulting to the big church now. That this isn't actually getting any business. Whereas this one should be getting all kinds of business. Except for, oh, there you go, that's right. The door's over here now. <laughs> So, I think that's a little closer to an answer. Marifa, but I want to do it when it's not snowing. So, let's kill some time by talking to Marifa. What are you guys up to? You buy our salt. Salt in town is great. So, 1425 deal. And salt, 1425. And that's temporary. That's fine. We'll do that. Um, you also buy dried fish. We have a thousand. Let's keep it. Cancel. Where are we at now? We're at 8,300 in the treasury. Sunflower oil. We've got plenty. So let's give them 2,000. Come on now. 2,000. And deal. Move sunflower oil into here. It's already sitting right there. So it should come over here pretty quick. Three, four pulls... Five. It's hard to get down there to the to the S's. Two thousand and temporary U. And I I prefer to do the temporary because if I said two thousand and not, then it's going to pull two thousand. It's going to pull two thousand more, and there's going to be zero in town until we get past the two thousand point again and can start putting it into here. So if I do it temporary then I know the rest of it's out in town and it can be grabbed by mark and stalls and, and used by our populace. And I, I think that's a wiser way to to deal with uh, supplies. Buckwheat flour, 200. So we won't worry about that. I need to go see what's going on with the flour. We have 5,000 wheat. We should have a lot more flour than that. Sallow, um, they want to buy it. So that's a no. What was that last thing? A field is done. Wow. Okay. One of those is finished. Salt, iron, Metal parts and flax. Okay, buying from them. Hemp, wheat, honey, textile, broadcloth, none of these. Okay, that's all we need to do. And you guys are 2,000 oils already there. Wow. Salt, 1425 is already there. I'm impressed. We have carts available. That's really helpful. There and here. So they got easy access to get to them. Um, speaking of carts, real quick, did this get emptied? We did, there's only 600 left, and it's already queued up. Okay, so that's about to go empty for us, and then we will delete that one. You guys are waiting to be attached to this farm when it finishes, and we're halfway through. So we've got February to finish you, and that should be very easily done with this many workers. Okay, you guys are... What are you doing? You're walking off into that area. You're chopping a tree, going to work, buying food. All right, so chopping a tree, where? Are you doing a building site? You are, okay. So you're still doing building sites, which means that's that one, that one, and this one is at 13 trees, and I'm pretty sure it was at 13 before. So these guys are not doing anything anymore. Working by sitting there going to work and when you do you're going to sit there okay so you guys are pretty much on just firewood duty and that's it until at least until we get back to building sites over here maybe when these two fields go down so let's take you down to one person and zero 
I think so. We'll do that. You all left. You are working. And there's nothing for you to do. But I'm only paying one wage now. Okay. And we'll, we'll re revive them later. Okay. So you're there. Did you happen before I... You're 400 now. Oh, so we got carts coming in to do it. And we're probably low on carts. Yeah, this is... Oh, there's still two in there. Okay. So carts there. There's one cart left over there. That's it, right? This side just has the two. You and you. That's why I need to put a third one right here. Okay. So you're available. You demolish when? Ah. Demolish right now. We just finished the farm. Okay. So slow you down. And... Hmm. Well, first of all, you attach to... Uh, yeah, attach to that one. You attach to that one. And you are not attachable yet. Okay. What do we need? That's a good question. Why do we have 5,000 wheat and we don't have so much flour? So if you guys, two in there and two in there, and it's just a matter of I guess keeping them at work. Now we have two people working in this one. So you're both in there. I don't know that it runs any faster. Finishes a batch faster with two of them there. I think it just has twice the opportunity to be running at all because somebody's at work. That's probably the benefit of having two. Okay. Otherwise, it's just what it is. So, if we start growing more wheat down here, what will it be for? Right now, the only thing we're doing with the wheat is flour. Later, we can make be making, I think, you know, basically vodka with it. I'm pretty sure the, the horilka is wheat and something. I think. Don't, don't quote me on that one. I have never made booze in this game, but we've got the... the... where are you? You're in this area somewhere. The brewery, which uses barley and... there it is, hops. And barley is germinated and dried, malted. The resulting hops and malt are boiled together in the process called mashing. Then the resulting mash is fermented for one month and becomes a beer. So that's that one. And the distillery, that's the one I was thinking of. There isn't a third one. So you make Horelka. So I've heard we cannot make our own mead. And that must be what's going on. Okay. Mead is a honey? Seems like that's a honey and something else. So that's, I'm guessing, I'm, I'm, yeah, I think it's a reasonable guess. That'll be one of the next buildings that'll be coming out. Seems to be working on these systems right now. So produced mashing wheat for two months, then distilling the resulting substance. So it makes sense when we do get the farms out over here that this is where we have a lot of wheat fields. Potato over here would give us foods. Potato over here is only every other year. And there is no potato over here. Oh, there's one. One random one. Otherwise, we are wheats and barleys and the what, whatever is needed to make the textiles over here. And we seem to be doing well in the textiles. Well enough that we could probably kick this production up a bit. Actually, I hadn't thought about that. We probably could. Especially as we're going to be moving more people in over in this area. That would be employable over here. We're starting to build up some serious supplies here. You know, let's do that. Um, we'll go this route. Three or four? Let's go four for a while until we start running out of supplies. And let's let you ladies start working twice as hard, too. Okay, now that we have a place to absorb the surplus. Yeah, I kind of like that. You guys are back to a thousand again. So, is there a way to set up a steady, non-stop work order to say every month go and visit this place and pull a thousand out of here? 
I don't think there is. There's the idea of bringing this many sunflowers a year, but that really is just a limit, I believe. I've never used that before, but I'm sure that's a way of saying don't let the saddle really have more than just 10 metal parts a year and whatever we make, we make. You know, limiting the building to not get too aggressive. But I don't know of a way to say every month go and clean out everything out of the sunflower oil. So I can't tell you guys to do anything like that. There's no schedule, there's no appointment book, anything like that. Now, we use the counselor to essentially schedule jobs. Is there a building that I am missing? I don't think the construction office works that way. Is there a building that I'm missing that sets up a schedule, like a, not so much a counselor, but a town manager, an industry manager? So the construction office, I would think that has to do with assigning labor. I don't think it would have anything to do with assigning cart carters. So if there is a way that I'm not aware of, let me know in the comments. I don't think there is. I think we just need to have a buttload of laborers so that they will just get to it all the time all on their own without being told. And I, that's not going to happen in this series probably ever. So there will always be more jobs and there will be people and that's just the way that I do it. I'd rather have everybody employed and things working a little less efficiently than a bunch of, of money, you know, gold coin signs popped up over houses all over because I have too many people and nothing for them to do and no way for them to feed themselves. So I'd rather be leaning toward this direction than that direction. So the only way that I know of right now to make sure this happens is just to manually make it happen. So if there is a better way besides building 200 more houses, let me know. But if it's building 200 more houses, then don't bother commenting because that's just not going to happen. Um, you are going to here, and that will eventually get done. Okay, so that little rant is over. <laughs> and um, we took apples out of here. Did anything else pop in? No. So we have one line item here for next October. Let's see if there's anything else that can be uh, put into that. And any more fruit or vegetable that I have somehow missed all this time. Um, okay, so you... Let's go ahead and hire a manager. We don't need to plow this year, so we don't even have to think about that. Manager's in. And actually, I do want a woman in here. I want the men available for things like the, the, uh, uh, the forestry. So, sorry dude. Bye-bye. Okay, so you're in there, and so potatoes are viable. At this point, we don't need any more hemp or flax. Hemp is over here, and it's not coming yet. Okay. Okay, so hemp could be a thing. Okay, potatoes, hemp. Um, how are we for buckwheat for the animals? At this point, we keep fluctuating from 4,000 to 2,000. I've seen that swing back and forth several times now. So a buckwheat over here may not be a bad thing, too. So with a manager, we can go ahead and set up some schedules. And these are not set in stone by any means. But we could flax. Interesting, it always started with wheat before. Why is it starting with flax now? I don't know. Maybe the update randomized that a little bit. These have always started with wheat. Every time that I've noticed, at least. Brand new field. Interesting. Uh, stone well is done over there. Stone well. Wait, where? Over here. I realized last episode, when a water bucket popped up over here, I got to thinking, oh, there's no wells over here. Just these things and the one well over there. So we needed to get uh, water over here to this area. <clears throat> so now we do. We may need a second one eventually once all the rest of these build and even more apartments come in. 
Okay, so and we do have water over here for you eventually. Okay. So flax, hemp, potatoes. If we were to do a hemp, that is a tiny bit of orange and a lot of blue. Whereas potatoes are a lot more red and no blue. So those two immediately go well together. Okay. And then plowing eventually comes into this. I'm not going to set a full schedule right now. I'll do that in between episodes when I can just sit there and stare at the numbers and figure that all out. We're running. We're running slowly. We're almost ready to lose the snow. Good timing, too. But let's just run a hemp over here and a potato over here. And then we'll... I'll for now, probably a... What was that one? Your potato. So we'll just swap these two around. Hemp and potato for now. And then eventually one of these two will go fallow as we do get around to getting into this guy. And that'll be, I'll try to time it just right so that it happens in the winter and you grab the next fallow field. You are a couple of loggers and you are taking out this tree here. Aha. Uh -huh. So... Why are we not happy? We haven't activated. Okay. So you guys are activated. You're connected to the farm. So there's at least two. And let's go for one more. Just as a filler. This will be number three. What happens here long term, I don't know. Maybe it's five. These guys right in here. Could be. Leaves more room over here to do something else. These are not giant fields. Demolition of that well over there. Good. Um, yeah, I can see more, a couple more 30 by 35s in here. But for this season, let's do another... Let's see, right in here. 30. Okay, let's go a little bit further back. About there. So a 30... Right there by 35 we'll do a 30 by 30 just to experiment this time let's bring you around to there so 30 by 30 right there yeah and you can be something else so a buckwheat all right we'll have a buckwheat which is mostly blue and no red and then we'll have something that is mostly red and no blue another round of potato we can sell the potatoes I wish they lasted longer don't need the barley don't really need the wheat so we'll do that and activate you uh, there and you are connected okay so there gives us three fields I don't think he'll be done in time we've got only a week or so left well, we could run him late. Just to run him. Ah, eh, we'll see. Okay. So with that, kick the speed back up. And we no longer have a trader, so I can't send a little bit more of salt if they had brought some in. We've got charcoal in all five of these now. Got a trader from Marifa. How did you guys know? Salt. Let's throw in another 466. Okay. And you are over here. 466 more. So let's do, say, 2,000 salt. Uh, salt, salt, salt. White. Salt, there you are. I couldn't see you. Now the 2,000, I'm pretty sure that we... And you can be permanent for now. Salt something we had a lot of. We've got 10,000 in town, so I'm not worried about bankrupting the town like I would be for something like sunflower oil. Wait a minute here. So, now we won't slow it down. Sunflower oil, do we want to do another round of that? So, sunflower oil, you will still buy more. Now, we've got only 1,000, though we're making it really dang fast. How many sunflowers do we have left? Uh, right in there. There we go. Sunflower... You were up above. Still 3,000. Okay, then let's do most of that. Because we are making it fast. So sunflower oil right there. Um, so you'll do another 
2,000. We've got 1,200. Let's do another 1,000. And deal and move you into here. Sunflower oil, 1,000. And temporary you. Okay. So laborers are all available because... No, we haven't broke through. So slow down. We haven't gone into March. Yet there's already five people who don't have jobs who are hungry for work. Okay. A couple of them are guys. So they must live more in this area. I was kind of surprised it took so long to get you hired. You are hired right now, though. And do we want to just leave you hired? I don't know. I don't know. We'll... Yeah. We got the important things done. We got three fields running. Okay, well, we'll call that good. I'm not going to mess with your schedule. You'll all be available to help plant these fields. That's the idea. So if we're going to do this, this... Oh, and so in that case, it's not three. Let's just take you down to zero. Take you down completely, and you're all available to hire over here. All the slots are available. We're still waiting for everyone to, to recover from being fired to be rehired again as temporaries for the season. So you are set for only March. Whereas some of these other ones I set for March and April. Like this one, for instance. March and April, March and April. Though I scattered other ones. You guys are doing what? We're into March. I never did seasonal hiring on you. I could. I could. Let's do that. Let's do two people and March, August, September. And then uh, I'll wait to do that. You guys are off completely. You guys are down to three. And are you actually doing anything? So you are chopping trees. You're chopping them out every... Oh, you're chopping red arrows. Okay. So you guys are going to still be busy. You guys, I don't know what's going on until that last field is done then we're doing these three houses over here so at that point i need 13 trees are left once this is all done we get down to one tree i need to fully employ these guys and then we'll let the the two of them battle it out these guys should regain and take over and start doing their work over here i would think so but i'd like to see that actually happen you guys are sewing there's no plowing happening over here. And how many people? Slow it down. You got a hold of two. Oh, I never hired workers. So let's do that. Let's set up. Are we the same? You are four and one and six months. Are you also? You are also. So I can apply to all. And that will now be set over here too. Okay, so that brings everybody in. And they all just quit. <laughs> okay, I don't know what just happened there unless they finished their field. No, they all took a break. Okay. All right, so you're doing that. You have a whole bunch of workers. And you have a bunch of workers. And you don't. Okay, so let's take you guys to just this top row. So that is eight, which means I need to set for seven for some reason. So take you to seven, and you will maintain eight. I don't know why it adds one, but it always did that. So that will give me a top row here and leave everybody else available to either work here, or they will jump over and do things like these. And that may well be happening. A lot of activity around here. Yeah, you're loading, you're loading charcoal. You are a, you work for the Brickworks. Okay. So charcoal stores here and you are taking a rest and we're hauling charcoal out of here. Firewood stocks here. There's 1200. You are taking a rest. How are we doing for firewood now? We are, is that that one? We're 6400. So we're actually kind of keeping up with it. These guys are now chopping getting wooden log you really you came over here and started working on this field instead of these guys 
Oh, I'm confused. So you guys... Oh, you did it because I fired everybody. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. That may pose a problem then. They might lose their ability to work on projects over here. We may be able to use these guys just for red X's. You have 37 logs in there. If we do that, you're not going to be doing any red X's for a while. But you guys, I would hope, would be responsible for cutting this pathway through. Exactly where, I don't know, but I'll, I'll lob these trees into it. After this, do we just come on down like this? Or do we curve around? I don't know. But take you to the center and do that. And then we'll figure the rest out afterwards. Okay. And then I may have to fence it to force him to actually use it. <laughs> yeah. Like herding cats. Okay. So we are... This is something I have meant to do and I never did. Did you... Did you... These are the older ones. I saw firewood in one of these last season, which didn't make sense. Because these are the younger... You're, well, you're 11 years old. You are 11 and 11 since planted. There was firewood in one of them. So I'm assuming that they will chop their own trees down and replant randomly. Is that what's going on right here? No, that's a pathway. Okay. Um, yeah, and a pathway here. Okay. But I think they will chop them down when they get to a certain age and replant them automatically, and there will be a temporary source of firewood. But I was about to say something, and I think that thought escaped. I do. But now you... I was going to say, are you an old one? But from over here, you're not as well bloomed. You just might be a different kind. So these guys... Look at how much white is on them compared to these guys. So these are apples. They don't have as much white. I know what it was. So when I see these all starting to chop down, will these need to be chopped down? Will they at some point just fall over? Is there an age in which wild ones will no longer produce? Like here. So... Dare I plant more to finish this off is what I'm eventually getting, trying to get out of my mouth. Or do I wait for them to all need to be torn down and then replant everything the same age? So what happens to wild fruit trees? And am I correct that the, the orchard trees will eventually be chopped down and replanted and, and they'll go through cycles? That's what I remember of the game. We haven't had that officially happen here yet okay the snow is gone so i'm thinking let's just oh i should have done this already mm, yeah the pathways went away nice grassy area again you need to go away demolish you and let's just move you straight to the top so whoever's working right now move into that and have you guys not been doing anything because there's no jobs left that's very possible. Everything else is trees. And I don't think they're going to jump to the next one. Nothing's been happening there. So I think that is a problem. And do we, can we handle another row house? I don't think we can. Food-wise. Food variety-wise. Food variety How are we? We're into March. Well, maybe we can. I mean, there's there's quite a bit of product sitting right there. And there. And potatoes, well, you're in one of these or not? Where did the potatoes ever land? You're right there. Just none. Okay. Marifa again? Same one, right? Yep, same one. So each episode we get three or four of the same city. Each in a row. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess if you mess up one of them, you get two or three more tries. How are we doing here now? Well, enough people. Uh, you are potatoes. You are planted. You are not planted. You are planting. And you are fallow. You are buckwheat. And you are sunflower. Okay. Over here, what's going on? 
You guys are done? You're not. You see, we start there. Sewn, fallow, sewing. Okay. We are we're only one week in. We gotta, you know, keep in mind I'm running really slow and they don't really start planting till about here. So we're a little over one week into the month is all. Over here, smaller fields. I see we're already working on the third one. So you guys are sown hemp, sown potato, sowing buckwheat, and we maxed it out. So it just had to get there. So in that case, and look at that, they actually obeyed my seven. Or they're, that's all they need that's left. In that case, maybe I will go ahead and bring this up a little bit. Ten, so we can make sure to get it done. It did work over here. Did it work because I limited that? Or did it work because they finally finished whatever job they were already temping on and came back home and then said, oh, closer work. So... Probably wasn't a fair test there. Maybe next year we'll see how viable this guy is. And if it stays this viable, you are not limited at all. Okay. But we only have that many jobs left and they're all filled. So if it stays this viable, we may be able to do even five or six of the smaller fields over here just to get a, a peppering of variety every year. Kind of like that idea. With maybe three sets of three as far as a fallow schedule. Well, we'll see about that. Maybe four and two. I don't know. I've got to. I've got to check that out. Anyway, plows over here. We're still at fourteen and fifteen. I don't know what they count as a year. Does it start January first on these guys, or does it actually keep track of the day they were born? Don't know. Um, and what are we going to get a message that we lost a cow? That'd be interesting to find out. All right, so I think I am free to work over here now. And you're done. Okay, except I still need to get you guys moved. Err. So make empty. And right there, make empty. And that should go pretty quick because we have so many laborers available. Um, so the arch is not going to fit in that space. Yeah, they're going to walk all over these graves while I've got this open. That's why I sealed it up. So you arch... Big fancy arch. Wow. But I can't place you until those things go away. So I guess I can just eliminate you and eliminate you. Do we want to change the shape of the road over here for any reason? We could kick you into even with this. I mean, realistically, it should be even with this. So we're already off of what it should be. But that over there would narrow this up a bit and make it a more yeah i kind of like that idea so he gets kicked in a little but i guess i just gotta wait till this gets done so we'll come back to that um what else folks are sitting over here underneath the the apple and cherry trees apple and apricot trees i think it was this greened out nicely. Cart shed over there. This is starting to look pretty good. I think so. A well here in the middle. So probably some bushes around that would look good. Something that's not too aggressive though. Dog rose. And behind. Where are you? Right there. Let's kick you off about like this. There. And there. And there. Yeah, I suppose. Do we want a tree in there? How about one poplar? Uh, birch. One birch. Right in like so. Yep, I think so. So a birch there. Um, what else needs to be around here? we got the forest in this area, so we don't really need to plant trees over here. And I'm still waiting on that, so I'm just, I guess I could speed it up while I'm killing time here. But it's also a good time just to kind of wander around. I did move through the area and check out where all the park benches were in between these last episodes and, and make sure everything was set properly there. You doing it? You're not doing it yet. Okay. And it's just probably a matter of the farms finishing planting and then there'll be a little more time for, uh, uh, for temporary laborers to grab that job. 
you're over here. I did take down the two trees behind, and in doing so, it took out all the bushes. So now we've got the big cottonwoods along the side of it, which looks good. Coming in like so. They're still cutting this corner. Let's put a nice little picket fence in here. From here to here. And just in case it's actually needed, from here to here. Okay. Yep, that looks good. So that will help. And I guess, yeah, we should do it right here as well. They're going to just cut her. They found a new way. Those sneaky little guys. Okay, so you are going to then go... We're running this path here. So there to alt to there. Okay. All right, so let's see how this works now. Those that go to Town Hall actually take the pathway now. Yeah. All right, you guys are still not there yet. Okay, come on, guys. I, <clears throat> that's right, I keep forgetting I can cart these things. So move a thousand wood by cart to, <laughs> to here. Boom. Okay. And move nails. That many by cart to here. All right. That one's going to get done now. And will we actually see it happen that quickly? I doubt it. We got special orders, but well, there's somebody. Okay. Oh, oh. I'm back. Well, that was wild. All of a sudden, everything started to stutter and the game went away. I had a crash. I have not had a crash this entire series. So, I know there have been two hotfixes so far fixing things. One, The last hotfix had a couple of random crashes that it fixed. So, apparently something happened under the hood here and it said, uh-uh. And everything went away. <laughs> and it woke me up too. I didn't realize I was at you know, over an hour already. So I need to wrap this up pretty quick here. Um, I was able to recover to a auto save and then went through and redid things like put the fence back in and this and that. Everything I could remember that I did. So if there's any... And I'm dying a... And I'm back one more time. And lost another 15 minutes. So the game has crashed twice now. Each time starting me back at this point. So last time I went through and brought everything back up to speed and, and cleared out this inn and got ready to build and it crashed in the same spot. So something is going on. It may well be that I will not be putting out a video for a while until I can get a successful, uh, you know, successfully past this point. And maybe the next hot fix that comes out will address something. I don't know what it is here that's, that's causing this. So, Marifa has returned. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to call this one done here. Next time, if I'm allowed to, I will redo the church area and make this the way that I'm picturing it to be. But for now, I'm going to be thankful that I can finish this video before it goes dead again. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye. Thank you.